about NMIMS? What plans do you have for it? Strategy of NMIMS deemed to be university growing going forward, future plans? Well, as I said, there are right in the beginning that uh, for globalization today, one doesn't have to only go by setting up a campus. That is one approach. The other approach is to really start globalizing the processes. And the third is to create a global identity for your own schools itself. Well, the most important thing that we are wanting to do, or, or these are the two important things that we are wanting to do. We want to globalize the processes. We want to globalize our schools. So what is it? Create a global image and a global brand for our schools and the university. From that kind of a perspective, I think uh, going forward, uh, most important thing would be to really look at it from the point of view of the global accreditations yes. for all our programs and business and, and schools. Uh, Bangalore and is already EMBA accredited. Hyderabad is on the way. So is with the, regard to the uh, LMIMS business school, the main school at Mumbai which we do hope that by 2016 end, we should be able to get a global accreditation for our programs itself, which should be one of the best known global accreditations in the world itself. Uh, the same story holds good with engineering, the same holds, thing, holds good with our sciences and other programs, etc. The second part of it is relating to the global uh, faculty scholarship at the global level. Our perspective is that our faculty work should be visible in the world market itself. And how do we do that? Journals, our own journals, that's one. The other is we are actually encouraging today our faculty to publish in journals which are internationally well known and are of a high reputation. We are also encouraging them to file for patents in the world market itself. So therefore, plus at the same time, we are in discussions with one of the foreign universities, which is one of the top 100, uh, ranked among the top 100, to partner with us in, with regard to faculty competency development, faculty scholarship at the world level, and at the same time, in terms of globalizing our academic and examination process, academic and research processes. We would also be geographically be expanding because we see the opportunity. New campuses. Uh, yes, so the new campuses are, are, are being developed. New Bombay is an area where there is a very big population out over there. We may not necessarily go only for the, for the full-time program, but there is a great need to, to do something different over there. Uh, like an executive programs, or for that matter, let us say some long drawn international programs, etc. is something that we will try and explore that. We are, we are developing our campuses at Indore, Chandigarh, Ahmedabad, and uh, we are in discussions with several state governments who have been approaching us. Our biggest kind of a constraint, if at all, is going to be, it is not, will, will never be the vision will never be the ideas, but it will always be the speed at which the regulator approves our campuses. So with that kind of a perspective, uh, I believe that uh, for Edabimus, the future is certainly bright. I do hope that uh, as the time goes by, in the next uh, 10 years time period, Edabimus as a university is a globally admired and appreciated university and respected for its innovations, its faculty scholarship, and the contribution that the students make to the society.